Welcome to our study about Mary K. Moon's math. And yes, you heard me correct. Mary K. Moon's math. And by the time we finish this study, you'll find out why we got Mary K. Moon's math. And I'm going to start using, I earned my title. And I know the Bible speaks about, you know, giving flattering titles. Well, this study is by me. Dr. Sally Hayward. I've earned it. And I'll use many other brains. Showing the camera. Many other brains. What I just showed you was a page, a full page. And I can't get it on the YouTube video. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get where I list these, give these people the copyrighted credit that I am using the fair use law. This is for education. I want Christians to know about the truth. I have two ministries. Number one, I want to tell the lost people about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and how they can be saved. Number two, I want to grow Christians properly. And I'm not going to force you to believe whatever you want to believe. I'm only going to put the, put the facts before you. I'm not going to come in your house and uh, cut up your Christmas tree. I'm not going to rip your mask off on Halloween. And uh, I'm not going to stump on your eggs at Easter. I'm just going to tell you what the, what the truth is by the Bible and by historic and documented evidence of people who know what they're talking about. And that's what this study is now. Now, you want to believe it? You don't want to believe it? That's. I'm going to tell you something, though. We have a free will. And if what I am teaching and what I have taught in all these videos, if I am correct, and I believe I am, I can be wrong. And if you are a Christian and you are wrong, you're going to suffer loss at the judgment seat of Christ. If I'm right and you're wrong, you're going to stand before Jesus Christ. At the judgment seat of Christ, if you are saved. And if what I have been studying, what I have put forth to you, is correct. Whether you believe it or not, if it is the truth about Tamus and all the other studies I do, I, I saw the one I've done on Santa Claus today. If I've got documented facts of history, and the Bible and the brains of other people who know what they're talking about and you choose to continue to worship something that is anti-Bible you're not going to get any rewards at the judgment seat of Christ and everybody who you bring into this false worship you will suffer a loss. Listen, this is just, just as deadly as witchcraft. This is just as deadly as, as modern Bible. Now, we have done a study, and you go back and get the other videos and all that. We have looked at Tamuz, who he is. We've looked at the Bible. We've looked at the resurrection of Tammuz and his death. Now we got a short study now of where Tammuz, and this is a, a shorter study. This is not going to be long. And we've got all kinds of, we'll get to Christmas. We'll get to December 25th. And then we'll get to Jesus versus Tammuz. But that's last. And we've already seen Istar or Easter, and 
you need to get our study Estar or Easter in disguise to see where Easter is wrong. Now, I'm going to keep it because, all right, go back and get Easter in, dis in disguise and listen to Easter in disguise. And if you think I am wrong, you think I, I, I have perverted the Bible and you think that my facts that I have given you are wrong, fine. And if you think, okay, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's right. That's biblically sound. That's historically accurate. Yeah, but I choose to, I'm not going to leave. Then you're at fault. As I tell a man to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as a sinner, if he dies in his sin, he's going to go to a place called hell. I tell him that. My fingers are clean. If I tell you that possibly what you're doing is biblically and, and historically and scholarly, I mean scholarly, I mean archaeologists, uh, people who have studied this out, whatever study I've done. And you continue because you like it. Friend, that's a sin. To him that knoweth to doeth good and doeth not, to him it is sin. So where? Hey, moves. And we're looking at Inuzi. Inuzi, D-U-M-U-Z-I-D. That's another name of Tamu. You got to go back and get who? Bible Resurrection. And we're going to try to do these studies every Wednesday on Tamu. And believe me, I'll have others afterwards. It's an ancient Mesopotamian Mesopotam Mesopotam God. Now, we've read this before, associated with shepherds from Mesopotamia, a small G-O-D, associated with shepherds. Now, we looked at last time, we looked at the God dying and God resurrection. And we've sought the brains of people who have looked into that. And know what they're talking about. And that was the last study. And I'm trying to find here in the paperwork what that, it was a specific term. And I'm looking for it right now. Uh, I'm trying to find what it was called. It's a specific term, so bear with me. The dying and rising God. That's what archaeologists and anthropologists call it. They call it a dying and rising God. Remember we remember we studied. Why can't they call it resurrection? Because there's only one resurrection, resurrection, and that's the resurrection of Jesus Christ. All the others are under imitation, and I just lost my notes. Where? Where are my notes? So, we've already seen the who, the Bible, the resurrection. Now we're looking at, we've already seen an Antichrist in Tammuz or in Uzi. And we see one of the places in Mesopotamia, and he's associated with shepherd. David was a shepherd. Jesus said, I am the shepherd of the sheep. Sumerian king lives. All right, Mesopotamia, now Samaria. Inuzai, I call it the Muzai. I don't know how they get Inuzai, but the D U M U Z I D is listed as a pre flood king before Noah's flood they acknowledged the Noah's flood 
In Samaria, Inuzai, or Tammuz, is a pre-flood king of the city of Bad Tibra, B-A-D-T-I-B-I-R-A. And this is according to the Sumerian king list. Now, capital E-T-C-S-L 2.1.1. I have no idea what that is. But I am quoting to you lists. I don't know what they are. So I want you. To, I don't want you to think it comes from my head. But there is a Sumerian king list with the ETCSL 2.1.1, and on that list, it lists Kamu or Inu and in Zubi before the flood and he was listed as a king of a city Inuzi was also listed as an early king of Europe you are UK that's quite interesting as I look for the other page people because he's a king. I know a king. I just lost my page five. You're with me. I know a king. King Jesus Christ. King of kings and Lord of lords. Here it is. He's a king well jesus is the king of kings jesus resurrection and inuzai and tamu same character is a dying and rising god and they're both associated with shepherds he where he was said to have come from the nearby village of Kura, K-U-A-R-A. -A. And to be have a consort married to the goddess Inanna. Now we've already looked at Inanna. Inanna is Esther, Easter. And we did a complete study. An Easter in disguise, Esther, Easter. And we looked at Inanna. And we have a God associated with December 25th. And we have a God associated with dying, coming back to life, shepherds, Easter. Dying and a rising God. I think you can get the idea when I say this title, this entire message, Mary Tamu's Mass. We have an Antichrist. Antichrist is coming. Antichrist is coming. 666. I don't want to take a shot and hit the 666 in me. The 666, who, what are you worrying about? The Antichrist is in many of the churches today called December 25th, called Christmas. And it's associated with Easter. The Christian need not worry about the 666. The Christian needs to worry about December 25th and the holiday of Easter, which are, by the studies I've given you, anti-Bible, anti-Christ, but you have a free will. My free will and the scriptures 
and historical evidence and the study of the occult and the study of paganism tells me as a born again bible believing christian that it needs to go i've been washia i b n w a h s h i y y a this is a man that knows his business he knows his business he spends his money earned by studying what we're looking at today also add that Tammuz lived in Babylon or Babylonia Does that sound familiar have you not heard about the book Babylon mystery Babylon have you not heard about the two Babylons do you know that Babylonia is in the modern church of, of, of the Laodiceans has been in the church since the church age of the much marriage but he says he lived in Babylonia this is Tammuz before the coming to the Chaldeans the Chaldeans became the Babylonians but before that time Tammuz and belonged to an ancient Mesopotamian tribe called Gaden, Gaban, G A N B A N. So we have Tammuz. Of all the association that we've looked at so far, and we're at the tip of the iceberg. Listen, we're at one, two, three. We're at number four content. Of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. At a minimum of 14 content. And we're at number 4. And we see a shepherd. We see a dying God coming back to life. We found Easter. And now we're finding Babylonia. And friend, if any any including christianity or any religion that has a millstone or a foundation or of a sidewalk resting in babylonia it's not godly babylonia and egypt or Egyptian anything of those two nations you do not want in your Christian walk or your Christian life anything Babylonia and Egypt have been an enemy to the children of God so he's found in Babylonia. Although the cult, I didn't say that. The writers call it a cult. The scientists call it a cult. The archaeologists and anthropologists call it a cult. Dr. Stanley Hayward did not call it a cult. I want you to get that. I did not call it a cult. The people who know to know get paid to know about Tammuz. And everything that's associated with Tammuz and Babylon and Easter and all that. Although the occult is attested for most of the major cities of summer. S-U-M-E-R. In the third and second millennia before Christ, 
It's centered in the cities around the central Steepy area, S-T-E-P-P-E, -P -P -E. and then bracket is the Eden, E-D-I-N. I don't know. Again, this is not my words. These are the people's words who know what they're talking about and get paid to be know what they're talking about. For example, the bad Tibria, B-A-D-T-I-B-I-R-A, modern Madinian, M-A-D-I-N-A-H, is where Tammuz was the city god. So what they're saying is, and you find this in the Bible, many cities not associated with Jehovah, many cities and you'll find where cities and listen the bible where it has b-a-a-l they are giving wholly to a false god abraham came out of the herb chaldees and abraham city herb chaldees was given to the goddess of the moon Islam is given to the God uh, of Allah. And the God of the Italy of the Catholics is to every other God that there's more gods than there are days of the week. And that you will find in Babylonia, you will find in the areas of the Middle East that there are certain cities. Of all the gods and goddesses, and to every city there is a one deity above all deities. In Ephesus, we find in the New Te in the New Testament given to Diana, and amongst Diana and the moon goddess and Baal the sun goddess. And then Philistine having Dagon, you find in the Bible. There's places in the world where Tammuz, a fallen god, or Inzuzi, same god, has a mark an authority of godship. Egypt had the same thing. Their god was the pharaoh. The pharaoh was a god king. Again, an imitation of god king, Jesus Christ, who is the king of kings and the lord of lords. And the devil told Satan, I mean, yeah, the devil told Satan, the devil told Jesus, if you'll fall down and worship me, I'll give you all these kingdoms. And all these kingdoms that have these fallen gods are people who have fallen down and worship Satan. He said, well, here, here's your God. Italy, Rome has a God over them. And she is called Mary. I'm not talking about Mary of the Bible. I'm talking about the fallen goddess Mary. New York has a goddess of the Statue of Liberty. That's a goddess. That's an image. When God tells man outright. You're not to make any likeness of man or any likeness of any creature on the earth or in the waters or in the sky. And yet in, in Washington, D.C., there's a big man called Abraham Lincoln still sitting in a chair. 
Then go to one of the Dakotas, I forget which one, and there are four faces on the mountain. And the same thing falls fit for Bad Tibra, where Tamuz rules as a king. I'm telling you right now, there's coming a day, one day, there will be a king of kings and lord of lords reigning and sitting in Jerusalem on the throne of David. And all these other gods and goddesses with their kingship and their queenship. And you find the queen of heaven in the book of Jeremiah. All these kingships and all these queenships of the fallen gods of Satan and Lucifer and of the world and of Egypt and Babylonia. They're going to bow down before the king of kings, Jesus Christ, and say, Thou art the Lord. As they're cast off in the lake of fire that burneth forever. You don't have to believe it. But I'm going to quote to you from the sources men's names and women's names who have studied and get paid to do what we're doing. And we've already looked at the Bible. And we found it to be false worship. And we're already seeing now, right at the conclusion, we're done. Through the who, the Bible, the resurrection, and the where, we've already seen a perfect, a perfect Antichrist. But this Antichrist ain't going to set up the 666. This Antichrist ain't going to reign in the tribulation period. This Antichrist ain't going to have nothing to do with Jacob's trouble. But the problem with this Antichrist, and let's get religion out the window for a moment. Let's talk about the true Bible believing Christian. Tammuz is in many of the Bible-believing churches and worship. And if the Lord tarries, you stick around for all the Mary Tamus mass study that Lord willing we will do and what we have done already. And if you recognize this Tamus, if you recognize in Uzai, in your church, you've got to decide whether I'm going to keep them and Brother Hayward is wrong. He's deceiving the people. He's a liar. He needs to be disassociated. Or Brother Hayward, that's documented, that's a lot more than what I knew. I'll get a copy, I'll send him a copy, and I'll send you a copy, the Word document. You can look at it and read it yourself. And then you can take, okay, if, if Brother Stiley's is wrong, I don't believe I am. All right. That's it. I'm in trouble with the Lord. I'm in trouble with God. I don't believe I am. But if, if Brother Stiley is right, and the documented facts that he have are true, you have one of two decisions to do. You need to get right with God, repent, and drop this nonsense. Because you've sinned against God. And you need to repent of your sins. To be cleansed. And for God to forgive you. And you need to drop it. And you need to drop it now. Or if Stowley's right. And I believe I am. 
believe I'm giving you the actual facts. I'm giving the truth what the world don't want the truth. You can say, you know what? Stalin's right. Wow, that was interesting. But you know what? I like it. I like my sin. I enjoy the festival. I enjoy the very making. I enjoy the holiday. I enjoy everything that has to do with it. I've done extensive study and, and you can get it. It's on YouTube. You you can find it. You can go through it. You, I've done an extensive study of Santa Claus. And I showed you how Santa Claus is an antichrist, a liar, and he has nothing to do with the Bible. And I am assured that there are Christians who watch those videos. Some are part of the whole study. And said, hey, that's correct and that's right. And I bet Santa Claus still visits their house December 24th into 25th. We've done the study. Easter in disguise. I bet you people have listened to it. I bet you say, wow, that's right. That's true. And every Easter, they dress up in their dresses and they go to sunrise service and they get involved with an Easter hunt. And I'm going to give you a warning. To him that... that that knows to do good and doeth it not to him in his sin. If this is good, and it is, if it's factual, and it is factual, and you don't turn from the sin, it's going to be wood, hay, or stubble. And you have a chance of losing any rewards and inheritance. By following Satan. But this, all, this is all about Satan. Satan has many different names. You know Jesus has many different names. And the imitation of Satan is to have many names like Jesus has many names. Jesus is called Jesus, Lord, God. The Son of God. The Son of Man. The Mighty Counselor. The Prince of Peace. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. And Satan has many names too. The counterfeit Jesus. He has the Antichrist. He has Santa Claus. He has the Easter Bunny. He has the Tooth Fairy. He ha Yes. Satan has many names also. I'm doing these studies for your edification to get right before God. I pray you do. Lord willing, next week, we will look at what, what, 